Excuse me. Thank you. Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Hot Rod Workshop. Today, we got a little bit of argon left in the tank for the TIG machine. So we're gonna use up the rest of that. We're going to finish weld out the cowl on the roads to pick up, and we're gonna do a little bit of metal finishing around the A-pillar area. What you doing, bud? What you doing, buddy? That's gas, dude. You don't want that. All right, I think we're at a good stopping point. We got the majority of the welding finished on the cowl, both on the A-pillar areas and the center section of the firewall. The all-burn cowls are much bigger than Model A, so 
I had to bring this in about six inches in order for it to work on the frame rails and uh, kind of makes sense with the grill shell and the hood and everything else. So it's making sense. I think the next step is to purchase some steel to finish out the back, uh, much like I did the uh, dash rail scenario up here on the cowl. I want to do a finished area on the top of the back section of the body. I thought about doing a duck tail, much like you would see in like a T roadster of the time, but it might be a little too exaggerated for this kind of shape body. So we are gonna have a slight arch from left to right, but nothing too dramatic. Once I'm satisfied with the A pillars on the outside of the body, I can go ahead and start the inner structure for the A pillars, the one inch box tubing continuing up uh, to the connection here between the door and the cowl. That'll give me a nice strong point to mount my hinges. Once I figure that whole thing out, structure and the door, the whole nine yards. I also have plans of doing a 32 style dash from scratch. Um, I've been wanting to do one of those for a long time, so this is a perfect opportunity. I also need to make sense of this cowl vent. I'm gonna rip that out and put a nice smooth section in. Uh, so that'll be a good video in and of itself. So the plan for now is to finish up that back section with a nice finished edge. Uh, finish weld everything, metal finish as much as I can. Get the whole thing in primer as you know, sooner rather than later because uh, it is starting to flash rust a bit. Uh, with the changing of the seasons and everything, the sooner I get it in primer, the better. So um, once we're at that point, we can go ahead and look into the truck bed, uh, you know, the overall size, how far out I want to go. And uh, I've been tossing around some ideas about chassis work, um, but I'm not going to muddy things up right now. We'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But we're definitely getting somewhere, little by little. You know how these projects go. But in any case, thanks for watching.